racing pigeon droppings typically contain the following. Uric acid, this is the white portion of pigeon poop. Uric acid is the major metabolic product of protein digestion in birds. It is analogous to the urea found in mammalian urine. Fecal matter, the darker portion of pigeon droppings contains the actual fecal matter, which is the undigested contents of the digestive tract. This includes waste, bacteria, fibers, and other indigestible components. Calcium and phosphorus, racing pigeons need additional calcium and phosphorus to support egg laying and growth. These minerals get excreted out in their droppings. Here are some tips for making high-quality compost from racing pigeon droppings. Introduction Composting is the natural process of recycling organic matter like food scraps, leaves, grass clippings and even animal manures into a valuable fertilizer for enriching soil. Making compost from racing pigeon droppings utilizes the nitrogen-rich manure as an activator to efficiently break down carbon-based ingredients like straw, dried leaves, wood chips into stabilized humus, a dark, earthy, nutrient-packed material. The high nitrogen content of pigeon droppings helps drive the composting process by feeding microorganisms, while the carbon-based materials provide essential airflow pockets for the pile. The right balance of ingredients, moisture and heat allows populations of bacteria, fungi and invertebrates to thrive and rapidly break down organic waste. Turning the compost pile mixes in oxygen while maintaining the optimal 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature to destroy pathogens, parasites and weed seeds. After 4 to 6 months of microbial activity and heating cycles, the pigeon manure and other waste is transformed into a stabilized, low-odor humus perfect for mixing into potting soil or using as a soil amendment around trees, shrubs and vegetable gardens. This rich finished compost continues providing slow-release nutrition as well as organic matter to improve soil structure and moisture retention. Choosing a composting system While open compost piles work fine, Containing the racing pigeon droppings and compost can help keep the area looking tidy while retaining heat and moisture in the decomposition mass. There are numerous containment system options. Compost tumblers, rotating drums make turning effortless while sealing in heat and containing odors. Models insulated with double plastic walls retain heat better. Can produce finished compost in as little as 12 weeks. Wooden compost bins, easy to construct three-sided wooden bins neatly corral the compost pile while adequate airflow is maintained by the open side. Keeps the manure from being tracked around. Wire mesh bins, cylindrical bins made from wire fencing or hardware cloth allow maximum airflow circulation to the compost, improving decomposition speed. Garbage cans, cut ventilation holes in the sides and lid of two metal trash cans nestled together. Use as stationary composting units. Collecting the droppings. Ideally, the racing pigeon manure should be collected often so it doesn't pile up underneath or nearby the coops where it can over-concentrate and burn vegetation. Exposure to rainfall also risks washing away too many nutrients. Establish a daily or weekly cleaning routine using tools like Dust pan and brush, for cleaning small trays or scraping up manure deposits under perches. Shovel, scoop up larger amounts of droppings beneath or around exterior coops and flight pens. Trowel or skimmer, Useful for harvesting manure from the floor of the loft while birds are present above. Bucket, a 5-gallon pail is a convenient vessel for transporting the manure to the compost pile without spilling. The droppings don't necessarily need to be sifted but removing any large feathers can help break down later on. Adding a bit of native soil or mature compost introduces essential microbes plus trace nutrients and minerals to feed them. Browns and greens, getting the mix right. Microbial decomposers need both carbon, browns, and nitrogen, greens, food elements in the optimal range of 25 to 30 parts carbon for every 1 part nitrogen, 25 to 30 to 1 CN ratio. Therefore, the high nitrogen pigeon manure must be counterbalanced by ammonia-absorbing carbon amendments. Browns equals carbon-rich ingredients. Dried leaves. Shredded bits of untreated wood, branches. Sawdust and wood chips, only thinner pieces straw. Paper egg cartons. Shredded newspaper. Greens equals nitrogen-rich amendments. Grass clippings. Vegetable scraps and fruits, chopped coffee grounds and filters. Fresh horse, cow or chicken manure. Green weeds, no seeds. A good starting recipe is mixing two parts carbon browns with one part high nitrogen pigeon droppings. Avoid putting whole eggshells, fats, diseased plants, pet manures or invasive weeds into the compost. Monitor as you build the pile, adding more leaves, wood chips or straw if the mix becomes too wet, compacted or gives off an ammonia smell. Proper moisture and air circulation. 
the diverse microorganisms, worms, beetles and millipedes that break down organic waste thrive in a damp compost pile, not saturated but around 40-60% to 60% moisture content. The materials should feel evenly moist to the touch like a wrung-out sponge with no excess water dripping out when squeezed. Occasional watering with a garden hose equipped with a spray nozzle helps hit the target hydration sweet spot. Turning or stirring the compost once a week also blends in pockets of air needed by aerobic bacteria while distributing moisture. Embedding longer twigs, straw or corn stalks creates channels for improved interior airflow. A pile lacking oxygen promotes anaerobic organisms which slow down decomposition and emit foul odors. Getting up to speed and temperature. The microbes, worms and fungi initially begin feasting on the easy-to-break-down nitrogen and sugars, rapidly increasing in population size which in turn accelerates their bioactivity and metabolic heat production. Within a few days, the core temperature of a well-constructed racing pigeon manure compost pile shouldn't dramatically spike about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. The hot phase lasting for at least several weeks safely destroys most pathogens and weed seeds. Temporary decline in microbial activity and lowering temperature follows before rising again across subsequent heating cycles. Monitoring temperature clues when it's time to turn and reinvigorate the compost biota. When interior readings fall between 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, turning the pile boosts oxygen levels for another round of rapid decomposition and reheating. After turning, the internal temperature should climb back up and be maintained between 130 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit for several more weeks. Observe how long the reheating phase lasts as the available organic matter gets used up until the compost enters a cooler, final curing phase. Troubleshooting problems. Issue, dry and resists rehydrating when watered. Solution, mix in fresh green waste like grass clippings or shredded vegetables which add moisture while restarting the composting process. Issue, anaerobic with rotten egg smell. Solution, Turn the pile to dry out excess moisture and mix in coarse carbon amendments like corn stalks or wood chips to improve airflow. Issue, ammonia smell, nitrogen loss. Solution, add more carbon-rich materials like leaves, straw or sawdust to balance excess nitrogen from concentrated pigeon droppings. Issue, unpleasant smells, slow decomposition. Solution, review if pile has proper moisture, aeration and is reheating. If needed, remix contents to balance materials. Issue, evidence of rodents or insects. Solution, eliminate food waste scraps attracting pests. Insert mesh wiring into pile or purchase enclosed composting units. Final curing and finish. As the organic contents of the racing pigeon manure compost gets consumed by microbes, turning and reheating gradually decline until bioactivity stabilizes. The compost enters a mesophilic phase where microbial diversity and beneficial fungi recolonize the finished product once it's cooled. Water content equalizes too so it's no longer releasing heat or moisture. Depending on factors like outside temperature and rotation frequency, pigeon manure compost is typically finished anywhere from 3 to 6 months after pile construction. The dark brown, lightweight, sweet-smelling humus is safe to handle with bare hands without risk of burning plants or over-fertilizing them. Passing finished compost through half-inch mesh screening helps prepare it for potting soil mixes or garden bed distribution. Testing and using compost Home compost testing kits are handy for determining nutrient levels before applying to plantings. Test strips measure key indicators nitrogen, phosphorus and pH which indicate stabilized organic matter with lower electrical conductivity salt content. Always check potting blends with compost first by seeding lettuces and herbs before use in gardens. While racing pigeon manure compost has many applications, wise precautions restrict its use away from edibles in favor of protective buffer zones. Okay uses. Ornamental flower beds. Shrubs and trees. Lawn top dressing. High risk uses. Vegetable gardens. Herb planter boxes. Greenhouse soil blends. Compost tea extracted by soaking mature humus in water provides a pathogen free foliar fertilizer full of beneficial microbiota, perfect for boosting potted plants or spray feeding garden vegetables and fruiting crops. Conclusion. Following the composting best practices outlined above will allow you to responsibly recycle nitrogen and carbon-rich organic waste like racing pigeon droppings into a stabilized humus. Getting the initial moisture, airflow and ingredients ratio right then maintaining optimal temperatures ensures rapid decomposition to destroy weed seeds and avian pathogens. Regular turning and troubleshooting common issues will further accelerate the composting timeline. In 3-6 to six months, this nutrient-rich finished compost become available for enriching garden beds, improving poor soils or blending into potting medium recipes. Reward your careful composting work by growing healthier, 
more bountiful plants. Get my main racing system, just email me direct. I'm an experienced ex-pigeon racer from England, and I can offer valuable insights and guidance on all aspects of pigeon racing, from breeding to racing. During my racing days, I managed a small team of no more than 70 pigeons, including stock, young birds, and old birds. It was not uncommon for me to send as few as six birds to a race and still secure the top three positions out of up to 2,500 pigeons in my club and federation. My race distances typically ranged up to 300 miles, and I consistently achieved top five placements in my club. My expertise extends to the art of selecting excellent breeders, including evaluating pigeons based on their assigned characteristics. I firmly believe that true champions can only be bred from top quality stock, and I can guide you in identifying and acquiring such pigeons. I understand that many pigeons for sale are advertised based on their lineage or pedigree, but I emphasize the importance of assessing the bird itself rather than relying solely on paperwork. As part of my offer, I invite you to share photos of your pigeons, including their eye sign and wing characteristics. I'll provide you with free advice on racing and breeding based on my extensive experience and knowledge. Additionally, I will share auction links to high-quality breeding birds that have the potential to produce winners in your loft. Here's what you can expect to receive from me. A comprehensive Word document containing valuable insights and strategies for successful pigeon racing, including specific racing methods for both old and young birds, as well as general advice. Private YouTube videos sent to your email, covering various aspects of pigeon racing, from breeding to race preparation. Detailed recommendations on supplements and additives to add to your pigeons drinking water, with scientific evidence supporting their effectiveness. Similar products are used by professional athletes and racehorses to enhance performance. Assurance that your pigeons will race home faster, provided that you have quality birds to begin with.